Good morning. My name is Nicola Campbell and today's topic is what can I do about my feelings of envy? Today's scripture is taken from Psalm 37 verse 1 and 7 and it reads thus. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So basically, the Lord is telling us to fret not ourselves because of evildoers. And he's also saying that we are not so envy persons because sometimes what we see persons with could be the work of iniquity so we have to wait patiently on him because he will prosper us in time so don't look at persons out there and feel like they're living a better life than us and why they're doing better than us and it should have been us we are to wait patiently on the Lord because in time he will reward us so based on the topic what can I do about my feelings of envy because truth is based on how society is especially now with social media everybody is putting out this picture of perfection this picture of them being also all that and sometimes we look at these things and we feel like oh lord how is it that this person and i went to school together we go to the same church or we live in the same home we come from the same family and life is just going so well for them and we are here struggling trying to make two ends meet trying to figure out what where next meal is coming from what we're going to do for our children what's going to happen are we still going to be having a job after all this that's going on in the world but some of the ways for us to not look at others and be envy are some tips as to how we can do this and my first one is to shift your focus to the goodness in your life. Basically, count your blessings. Count your blessings. The songwriter says, count them, name them one by one, and you'll be surprised what the Lord has done. Look in your life, and yes, things might be so hard, and everybody else around us seems to be doing so well. But Sit and really look in your life and count your blessings and you will be so surprised to see that the Lord is really doing so much for you. Next, remind yourself that no one has it all. Because sometimes we look and we say, boy, pastor or minister or sister, so and so, their life is so perfect. They have everything going on for them. But even though the picture might be painted as perfect, just know that the only thing that is perfect in life is God Himself. So there are flaws there, there are things that maybe they are doing to have this life showing up that basically you would never even part it up because it's like so wrong or they have, they have, they have to go through so much sacrifices, some of them can't even find time for their family, can't even find time for their friends, but they have to be putting in the hours so they can make the money to live the, the life that they want to live. So don't look at that. Avoid people that place value on the wrong things. So the person that if today they buy a car, with the latest car and tomorrow new one is out, they have to get it, they have to get it, even though nothing is wrong with what they have. But they just have to always have the best of everything and the most of everything. And they're just always boastful and all of that. Avoid these people. Find people that are humble. Persons that are grateful for what they have. Not just, not, not just 
same or they have because they want to boast but because they are truly truly grateful and that leads me to my next point spend time with grateful people spend time with people that are humble spend time with people that work for what they have and they know what it is to just be thankful celebrate the next point is to celebrate the successes of others because sometimes yes you might feel down and out and feel like nothing, nothing is going on for you but then you see a sister over there they are getting married they are having children they are buying their houses they are getting their promotions and you are there in a little corner can hardly make two ends meet but celebrate them celebrate them thank god for them Lift praises unto God because your brother or your sister is finding their way out somehow and ask God to guide you and give you your own blessing. And the next thing is to be generous. That's my final point. As small as it is, as it is, just be generous. Give unto others. As if it's even a word of encouragement. A little sweetie or something, just something to let you come, you go to church, you go around with your co workers, with your family. Give out of what you have because sometimes you might be there and thinking that you're on your lowest point. And I can tell you, others are out there that is even lower than you, and they do just appreciate you saying, Boy, sister, sister Nicola, just hold the faith. God will see you through. I know many of us know the story of the man who wanted to kill himself and he had one last banana and he went up in the top of the tree at the banana and he threw away the skin and when he looked down there was a man at the bottom of the tree taking up the skin to eat he realized that even though his life seems impossible sometimes there are persons out there that is worse off than us so just be generous just Think of life as we go along that God is blessing us in our own way as small as, it's, as small as it may be. So yes, persons are out there that seem as if everything is happening for them. But just trust God. Trust God. Ask God to empty you from self. Ask God to give you a spirit of gratitude so that you can be grateful and thankful for the small things in life especially now in this pandemic it is best for us to just instead of looking at what others have just give God thanks for what we have i close today in prayer let us pray father god i just want to thank you again for life thank you jesus for everything that you have been doing for us father god for some of us it, may, it might seem as if it is so impossible and that everything else is happening for others but not for ourselves. But Father God, but I ask you, Jesus, please, Lord, teach us, God, to be humble. Teach us, Lord, to be thankful. Give us the spirit of gratitude, Father Jesus. Help us, Lord, use your God, to get rid of envy, jealousy, bitterness towards each other, Father God. I pray for Jesus to embrace our fellow friends and family, Lord Jesus. Let us, Lord, be thankful for them. Let us be grateful with them, Lord Jesus. I pray God to celebrate the wins, whether big or small, for ourselves and for others. I pray God to not think about what we should have or what we could have but what we do have father jesus thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy thank you lord jesus oh god for taking us through this pandemic father god and even though for some of us it's hard and it's difficult father jesus you know there are persons out there god who have it worse than us and they might be looking on even us and saying why couldn't that have been us? But help us, Lord Jesus, oh God, to build a spirit of gratitude, a spirit of love, a spirit of being humble, 
in your sight. These and other mercies I ask of you, Father. In your precious name I pray. Amen.